You see, Donald Trump has a long, slithery tongue like this because he is, in fact, a reptilian. Yeah. Welcome back to Benjamin. It's my name's Benjamin, and this is the Benj- Oh, fuck. And this- it's the Benjamin X Museum of Modern Art! That one will work. As I'm sure you are all already aware, Donald Trump is now the President-elect of the United States of America. May God help us. It has recently come to light that both the FBI and CIA believe that Russia was involved in the hacking of the DNC. That's not a joke, though. That That's an actual real thing that's going on right now, and it's kind of scary. Although it would seem that nobody can agree on the motive for such an attack. And that is why today, we are creating one more Donald Dump art piece. But first, we must gather our art assets. Wait, shit, that's gonna be my search history now. Wow, no holds barred here. And no holes barred, you know what I'm saying? Here we go, this will work perfect. So now that that's over, we can finally get down to the real business. Why do I have a picture of a man licking another man's armpit? Well, dear viewer, that's because love comes in many forms and one of those forms is apparently licking people's armpits. I needed a photo that really conveyed passion and love. But why, you may ask? Well, I'll show you. Wow, a Donald Trump's head on a fit guy's neck looks really fucking weird. Also, this part I blurred here isn't actually a dick, it's just like an arm or something, but it looked a little too much like a dick and I was worried someone was gonna get the wrong idea. Clearly, Russia favored Trump because they are in a passionate bond together. A passionate bond that involves licking each other's armpits. We just need to grab this young man's tongue and we'll be on our way. A sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today. You see, Donald Trump has a long, slithery tongue like this because he is, in fact, a reptilian. This gentleman on the left is nowhere near orange enough. Let's give him a nice golden sheen. And by golden, I mean orange as fuck. There we go, it wasn't because that neck was too fit to be Donald Trump, it's because that neck wasn't orange enough to be Donald Trump. And it was too fit. I should probably get rid of this weird radiant glow that Putin has. There we go, now Putin looks much less radiant. Just like in real life. Oh my god, I just thought of a way this could get like 10 billion times better. There we go, he's stretching his neck really far for that lick. He just really wants to show Putin that he truly does love him. You see, the juxtaposition of this piece is truly awe-inspiring. You have two of the world's most hate-filled leaders engaging in the purest act of passionate love. And truly, I just wish the American people would just stop trying to keep them apart. Can't you see they're in love? That being said, I hope you enjoyed the creation of today's fantastic piece. If you did or if you would like to see more, please leave a comment down below. But if you do, please do not kink shame the dumpster. <laughs> Please do not kick shame the Trumpster. There's nothing wrong if he enjoys licking armpits. He needs our compassion and understanding. There we go, now Vladimir Putin's complete. You know, Vladimir, if you ever see this, I'm really digging this hammer and sickle nipple tat. <laughs> you should get one in real life, bro. Whoa.